All right, if you guys could please turn to 7.6, apply the sine and cosine ratios. All right. Sine and cosine are trigonometric ratios for the acute angles that involve the length of a leg and the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay? Um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, I will probably mention this in class if I haven't done so already. Sokotoa is a really, really good way of memorizing all three trig functions. Okay? So, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Ka, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And toa, tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So if you can memorize just this word, you have all three trig functions memorized. Okay? All right. Angle of elevation and angle of depression. When looking up at an object, the angle your line of sight makes with a horizontal line is called the angle of elevation. So if this is the horizontal line, and you're looking up this way, this is your angle of elevation. If you're looking down at an object, the angle your line of sight makes with a horizontal line is called the angle of depression. So if this is a horizontal line, then this, if you're looking down, is your angle of depression. All right, sine and cosine ratios. Like I said, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, if you're looking for sine of A, the opposite side would be BC, and the hypotenuse is AC. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent sign is AB, and the hypotenuse is still AC. All right, let's go on to page two. Find sine of u and sine of w. Write each answer as a fraction and as a decimal rounded to four places. All right, so sine of u, opposite over hypotenuse. The side opposite u is 16. Or actually, let's write this first. Wv, the uh, uh, hypotenuse is wu. Wv is 16. Wu is 34. This can be simplified if I divide top and bottom by 2. I get 8 over 17. Let's pull out a calculator. Ready. 8 divided by 17. Um, 0 0.4706. Alright. So, let's take a look at sine of W. Sine of W this is the opposite side. So I've got uv and still wu is the hypotenuse. uv is 30. Hypotenuse is 34. If you divide top and bottom by 2, you get 15 over 17. Hopefully you guys see that this is an 8, 15, 17 triangle. 8, 15, 17 is a common Pythagorean triple. So 15 divided by 17. 0.8824. All right. Let's go on to the next one. All right. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's go back to blue. So cosine of S, this is the opposite, which makes 45 the adjacent. So ST is the adjacent, SR is the hypotenuse, ST is 45, um, SR is 53. You can't simplify that. Let's get our calculator out. 45 divided by 53. Um, 0.8491. All right. Cosine of R. In this case, 45 is the opposite, so 28 is the adjacent. That's TR or RT. RT is 28. This is still 53. Let's pull the calculator out again. Point 
0.5283. All right. I'll let you guys do this checkpoint. Let's go on to page three. Okay. You walk from one corner to a, of a basketball court to the opposite corner. Write and solve a proportion using the, a trigonometric ratio to approximate the distance of the walk. All right. So. This is our situation. You walk from here to here. This is 62 degrees. The opposite side is 94 feet. We're looking for this one. So, this one is the opposite side, and we know that X is the hypotenuse of our right triangle. Opposite and hypotenuse. you're going to use sine, because sine is the one that involves opposite and hypotenuse. So sine of 62 is going to be, well, let's write this first, opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is 94. The hypotenuse is x. I'm going to multiply each side by x. Now I'm going to divide each side by sine of 62. Alright, now I'm going to pull out my calculator. Alright. 94 divided by sine of, oh, you know what, before I do this, make sure you are in degrees. Very important. Okay. 94 divided by sine of 62. 106. Um, 0.46. Actually, I think they wanted us to do this first. Ninety-four sine of sixty-two degrees is point eight eight two nine. That's sine of sixty-two degrees. Well, and then when you divide this, you, that's when you get one hundred six point five. So the distance of the walk is about one hundred six point five feet. All right. Example four. You are at the top of a roller coaster, a hundred feet above the ground. The angle of depression, that was one of our vocab, is forty-four degrees. That's this angle here. About how far do you ride down the hill? Okay, so once again, this is the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse, think Sokotoa. Again, we're going to use sine. So sine of 44 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is 100. The hypotenuse is x. I'm going to multiply each side by x, so I have x times sine of 44 degrees equals 100. I'm going to divide each side by sine of 44 degrees. So 100 over sine of 44. Pull out my calculator. Oop, turned off. Let's try again. Okay. Clear mode degrees. There we go. Okay. So, sine of 44 degrees, 0.6946. Or 47, rather. And that is sine of 44 degrees. Then when we divide that, one forty-three point nine four. 
or I'll just put 143.9. So you ride down, you ride about 143.9 feet down the hill. Alright, let's go on to page four. Okay, you guys can do the checkpoint. Example five. A railroad crossing arm that is 20 feet long is stuck with an angle of elevation of 35 degrees. Find the lengths of x and y. Okay, so here's our situation. Let's solve for x first. x is the opposite side. 20, the only length we're given, is the hypotenuse. So, Katoa, we have opposite and hypotenuse. We're going to use sine. So, sine of 35 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. We're going to write the ratio for, let's see here. I guess I want you to write out the whole thing. Sine of 35 degrees. Seems kind of weird. All right. Um, sine of 35 degrees. The opposite side is x. The hypotenuse is 20. I'm going to multiply each side by 20. So now I have 20 times sine of 35 degrees. I'm going to pull out my calculator. Turned off again, of course. Let's try again. Okay, so 20 times sine 35 degrees. Yep. Okay. 11.47. I'll put 11.5. All right. So now let's solve for y. I'm going to change colors. Y is the adjacent. 20 is still the hypotenuse. So now that we're dealing with adjacent and hypotenuse, we got cosine. Cosine of 35 degrees, we're going to write the ratio for cosine of 35 degrees. Cosine of 35 degrees. The adjacent side is y, hypotenuse is 20. Multiply each side by 20. Okay, let's pull out the calculator. 20 times cosine of 35 degrees, 16.38 or 16.4. Okay, last page. All right, use a special right triangle to find the sine and cosine of a 30 degree angle. We're going to use the 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem to draw a right triangle with side lengths 1, root 3, and 2. Okay? Now, the reason we're doing this, if you remember, in a, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg, and the long leg is root 3 times the short leg. So in this case, because the hypotenuse is double the short leg and the long leg is root 3, times a short leg, you know this has to make a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And since they don't specify um, what kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle, this one will work. Sine of 30 degrees, this is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side from 30 degrees is 1. The hypotenuse is 2. This is about 1.5. Actually, it's exactly 1.5. Cosine. adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is root 3. The hypotenuse is still 2. If you plug this into your calculator, you're going to get 0.8660. Alright, you guys have the checkpoint, and that's all.